Good morning, friends. How are you today? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. So, friends, I'm so excited because next week I will get to start to see so many of you in person, whether you are coming to the building or if you are staying at home and remaining virtual. I can't wait to start to make music with you live and it's going to be so much fun and I've gotten to know a lot of you guys over these past months with us being completely virtual but it's going to be really excited getting to make music with you in your classes. So a little bit of information. When you have music it will not be just on Wednesdays. You guys will be joining me in your classroom whether it is in person or still virtual and we're going to have music once a week. So like a live class of music. So that is what is in store for you guys next week. And let's get started with our music lesson today. So friends, we have our hello song as always. So please find your nose and keep the beat with me. Can you please find your head? Find your head. If you have found your head, look up at the sky. If you have found your net, your head, look down below. All right, friends, keep the beat with me. Sing after me. Hello there. How are you? It's so good to see you. We'll sing and be happy that we're all here together again. Where's another place that we could keep our beat? Oh, that's a great idea. Let's keep it on our knees. Please find your knees. If you have found your knees, look to your left. If you have found your knees, look to your right. Keep the beat on your knees and sing after me. Hello there. How are you? It's so good to see you. We'll sing and be happy that we're all here together again. All right, friends. So you know a song. We have been working with this song for a little bit. Can you please keep the beat? in your lap and i'm going to keep it on my drum can you please keep the beat in your lap and i want you to close both of your eyes if you remember this song close your eyes if you know the song ladybug ladybug just my size when it's in front of you just improvise Oh, I see many friends with their eyes closed. If you remember the song, keep your eyes closed. If your eyes are still open, listen again. And if you remember the song, close your eyes with the rest of your friends. Ladybug, ladybug, just my size. When it's in front of you, just improvise. Oh, I see so many friends with their eyes closed and you are correct. It is our ladybug song. Friends, can you keep the beat on your nose, please? And sing the song with me. Freddy, here you go. Ladybug, ladybug, just my size. When it's in front of you, just improvise. Can you keep the beat on your head with me? Run to here you go, ladybug, ladybug, just my size. When it's in front of you, just improvise. Friends, we have made beekeepers for this song. Now this is mine. I made my ladybug beekeeper with what color ladybugs? I did. I made it with all red ladybugs, as you can see. Can you please sing the song with me and keep the beat using Mrs. Smith's Ladybug Beekeeper? One, two, ready, go. Ladybug, ladybug, just my size. When it's in front of you, just improvise. Oh, 
Thank you, friends. You did such a great job of keeping that beat with me. Now, this Ladybug Beekeeper was created by a friend in Mrs. Story's class. Can you please keep the beat with me and this beekeeper while we sing the song again? One, two, ready, go. Ladybug, ladybug, just my size. When it's in front of you, just improvise. Oh, we have another one. This is from Mrs. Tarzan's class. So friends, can you please keep the beat and remember you gently just tap the air where those ladybugs look on your screen. Don't tap your actual computer, but just lightly tap where they would be. One, two, sing with me, ladybug, ladybug, just my size. When it's in front of you, just improvise. <gasps> you did such a wonderful job. All right, friends, we started to improvise using our bodies last week. This time, I want you to find, you can either be at the table, maybe find a pillow that you can pat on or a book. Can you please find an object that you can tap on just like Mrs. Smith? Now, I will give you 20 seconds to go find that. So we have 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Make sure to get either a pillow, book, something that you can tap on. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So hopefully friends, you have a book, pillow, you're sitting at the table, you can use the floor, you can use a couch, a chair, something that you can tap on. Now, we know from last week that improvising is whenever you create a musical pattern just on the spot. You're not, it's not anything that you thought of before. It's literally what comes into your brain at that very moment. So we know in our ladybug song, you are to improvise when you see the ladybug. Now, where is the ladybug? Is she at the end of our song or is she in the beginning of our song? Yes, she is at the very end of the song. So friends, are we going to improvise our pattern at the end of the song or the beginning? Can you put your finger on your nose if you think we need to improvise our pattern at the end of the song? Can you put your hand on your head if you think we need to improvise our pattern at the beginning of the song? Yes, my nose friends are correct. We improvise our pattern at the very end of the song. Sing the song with me, friends, and let Mrs. Smith demonstrate to you a nice little pattern to improvise. Betty, sing with me and go. Ladybug, ladybug, just my size. When it's in front of you, just improvise. And that's how it's done. So friends, can you please join me and can you please play a pattern with Mrs. Smith at the end of our song when you see the ladybug? Don't forget to sing along with me. Ready, go, ladybug, ladybug, just my size. When it's in front of you, just improvise. How'd you do, friends? From one on a scale of one to five. Five is like, Mrs. Smith, I had a little bit of trouble coming up with a pattern, and I'm getting better. Five is like, Mrs. Smith, I got my pattern, and I had no trouble. Okay, I see many, many numbers. Good, good. So friends, think of, try and come up with a new pattern this time once you get to the ladybug. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to come up with a different pattern for the end of the song. Don't forget to sing with me. Ready, go, ladybug, ladybug, just my size. 
when it's in front of you, just improvise. How was that, friends, on a scale of one to five? Pretty cool, pretty cool. Look at you, you just improvised a musical pattern. Very nice job, friends. So at the very, very tippy top of Mrs. Smith's slides at the end, it says, Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. Friends, can you raise your hand if you have heard the book, Chicka Chicka Boom Boom? I see many friends who have, that's fantastic. And raise your hand if you have not heard this book. Okay, so friends, when you come to music class starting next week and in the upcoming weeks as well, we are going to be doing some music activities with Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. And today we are going to listen to a read aloud of that book. So we are very prepared for next week in music class. So I'm gonna put my drum down and we are going to listen to this story together. Now, when you are listening to the story, friends, please make sure that you are sitting in your spot. You are not bothering anybody around you and you are listening and here, my friends, I'm going to present my screen so you can see. My little camera fell, friends. So it looked like you were falling or it looked like I was falling, but you are back. Welcome back, everyone. So I am going to present a tab so you can hear the story. And here we go. Alert. A told B and B told C, I'll meet you at the top of the coconut tree. Wee! said D to E F G, I'll beat you to the top of the coconut tree. Chicka chicka boom boom, will there be enough room? Here comes H up the coconut tree. And I and J and tag along K, all on their way up the coconut tree. Chicka chicka boom boom, will there be enough room? Look who's coming, L M N O P. And Q R S and T U V. Still more W and X Y Z. The whole alphabet up the... Oh, no! Chicka, chicka, boom, boom! Skit, scat, scoodle doot, flip-flop, flee! Everybody running to the coconut tree! Mamas and papas and uncles and aunts Hug their little dears, then dust their pants! Help us up, cried ABC. Next from the pile up, skinny D, and stub toe E, and patched up F. Then comes G, all out of breath. <sighs> H is tangled up with I, J and K are about to cry. L is knotted like a tie. M is looped. N is stooped. O is twisted. Alley oop. Skit scat scoodle doot flip flop flee. Look who's coming. It's black eyed P. Q R S and loose tooth T. Then U V W wiggle jiggle free. Last to come, X, Y, Z, and the sun goes down on the coconut tree. But, chicka chicka boom boom, look, there's a full moon. A is out of bed, and this is what he said. Dare, double dare, you can't catch me. I'll beat you to the top of the coconut tree. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. If you like these videos. 
So friends, that was our chicka chicka boom boom. And like I said, starting next week, we're going to be doing some music activities with this book and the story. So friends, I can't wait to see you next week in class. Like I said, whether you are staying virtual or you are coming back to the building, I cannot wait to see all of your faces and I cannot wait to make music with you. So I will see you next week, friends. Have a wonderful Wednesday.